Hello, welcome to Dr. Scott's accounting class. We're back with another video. This one will start us on adjusting entries, okay? We have learned about identifying, analyzing, and journalizing your transaction. After we did that, we post it to the general ledger. After you post to the general ledger, you did a trial balance. Therefore, you had a new balance for all of your accounts. What adjusting does is says, this is what it's supposed to be, but now that I go count, or now that I look at what I have, that's not what it is. So you have to adjust. What I always teach, number one, you look at what it is, okay? What is it, is, is it 2,000? Is it 3,000? We then find out what it should be. And then lastly, we find the difference. Okay? So, if my supply balance is 5,000, okay? I go and I count my supplies and I only have 3,000 worth of supplies. Is what I have. Okay, in using my steps, what it is, is 5,000. What it should be, what I found out when I added or subtracted or went to go count my supplies, it was only 3,000. Step three, find the difference. So my entry will be for the 2,000. Now, question. If my balance is in supplies is 5,000, what is the normal balance in supplies? Hmm. Supplies is a what? Asset. And remember, normal balance is a debit. So if this is a debit balance, in order to get it to this, I need to do what with the 2,000? That's it, credit. So, my entry would be supplies expense because we did what? We used this. And a credit to supplies. For what? The amount of 2000 Okay? This can be done, I use supplies as an example. It can be done for prepaid insurance because you know prepaid means we pay for it up front, which then means over the months we use it. So it would be an expense. And then we would credit it from prepaid insurance. It could be the same for unearned revenue. It could be the same for um, equipment, salary expenses, all things that can change through an adjustment. This is adjustments made easy. Dr. Robin Scott, please like, 
comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.